Well hello, um, welcome to our Heritage Tea once more. Uh, today, uh, Bruce and his wife Judy have gone for a little walk to find a waterfall. Um, that means I've got the boat to myself for a little while. Um, we're back in Guanaja at a place called Michael Rock, or Michael's Rock. And um, as you can see, it's a beautiful beach behind me. I had a walk over there earlier though, there's quite a bit of plastic there. And there's also quite a bit of plastic under the boat. And, um, and there's this wind that seems to come out of nowhere. It'll be nice and calmish and it'll be 30 knots. And that's been all night, so uh, feeling great today. Anyway, um, with Judy and Bruce off the boat, I thought I'd try and make some videos to do cleaning up some plastic. Um, before I jump in the sea though, I thought I'd go downstairs and see what we can do about our own garbage. Uh, we've got a few days worth of garbage on board now, so we have nowhere to chuck it off for a couple of days. So I thought that I'll go through. Um, garbage obviously has a big hygiene risk as well. So I thought I'd separate it into different buckets. And the stuff that we can clean and keep for a long time, I can rinse out in seawater. So maybe these are like cans and uh, stuff like this. Um, paper and cardboard could go in another bag or a box. And also um, there might be some reusable things like uh, Ziploc bags and stuff like that. I can clean out with soap. But um, I'm going to go downstairs and get dug in and try to record what I do on the way. So, welcome down below our Heritage 2. Um, this is in our galley, and this is where we keep the garbage, the one that's in use. As you can see, it's all mixed at the moment, but there's uh, many different materials in there. We then have this side door. I'm going to use that, so that's good. And uh, we've got some more garbage in the back, which are bags that we've already done up. I bought some colourful bags to try and hopefully separate them, but we haven't managed to put the effort into doing that yet. So we're going to see how easy it is today. I also have the sink ready here, with some water boiling over there. So uh, anything that can be reused can be washed with some soap or some bleach. Um, so we can reuse it again, like we've done with these zip block bags. Okay, so I've got two buckets here in my bags. So let's start out. This is cardboard, so you can't do much with that. So I'll put it over here. It's a plastic Ziploc bag, so I'm going to wash that. Some plastic, it doesn't need washing, so I'm going to put that between my legs. Mixed material, so I imagine the cardboard can be recycled. And the plastic can't really be used again. We are drinking a bit too much wine the other night. So I can put the cardboard over here. Let's see, so we've got some cans, which I'm all going to put into the sink. And some plastic, but it's dirty, so I'm going to rinse that. Paper can go with this. Plastic that doesn't need cleaning. We can squeeze it and hopefully keep it a small size. Uh, this is a big thing on the boat, we have quite a bit of organic stuff, so I'm going to try to collect the organic stuff and throw it overboard. So let's put this here for now. Can to be rinsed, so pushed. Bottle can go down here. And a lot more of this is organic, so I'm actually going to take it outside and throw it overboard now. First thing I'm thinking is that this is much nicer, probably easier. You can separate as you go. I think that um, there's lots of organic stuff in here. I know it's not great throwing food wastes into the ocean, but um, not many places to keep it on a boat. I'm sure that the fish don't mind a bit of kale, a bit of carrot and what have you. If we did it at the time though it wouldn't be so slimy and horrible. But I suppose you've got to do this so we can understand what people are doing with their waste. 
I accidentally just threw a little bandage in the sink. Okay, so another zip-up bag we can reuse, another one that we can reuse. Plastic bottle washed and crushed. And the rest is all paper and stuff like that. So, I'm going to put all the like materials together. This can be our bag for paper, clean and dirty, which I believe they burn on the So now all the first things in here are all paper. So I'm going to take them and put them in the other bag. Here. A couple of cans, make sure I clean them last night. A bottle, paper, paper, paper. And non-recyclable plastic can all go in here. Like this. There's a tin can. More organic waste. Another tin can. Another can. These things that I washed last night, but they got put in the bin with dirty shit anyway, so I'll wash them again. Another tin can, some more paper and non-recyclable plastic. And the rest of this is actually organic waste. So I'm gonna throw it over the side once more. Rip this stuff this time. Okay, so this bag here had the organic waste in it. So what I'm gonna do is turn it inside out and just wash it so we can use it again. I think that's a fair enough plan for everybody. Yay! Okay, so now I'm left with all of this stuff that can be cleaned and probably recycled. So I'm gonna put all of this clean in one bag. I'm gonna clean this because it had meat in it so it doesn't make our garbage unhygienic. And then I've got a bunch of Ziploc bags, which can be reused, as we've seen before. But all we need to do is put a little bit of effort in to clean it. So I'm going to clean those. And then I've got all of this leftover, which is all the stuff that's probably incinerated and not recycled. But let's get cleaning. And by the way...
Okay, with that done, that leaves me with this disgusting stuff. So, what I'm going to do actually is rinse it outside first. So I can have some fresh air. <coughs> then I'll dry rinse it. I will take it back in and clean it. Do you remember that wind that I was telling you about? doesn't last long at sea. Okay, well that's all that plastic clean. Most of it would be reused. So, that can't be a bad thing, right? Yo! As a result of this exercise, the boat is now committed to cleaning all of its rubbish. We now have a black bag for everything else, a blue bag for mixed recycling, such as plastic and glass and tins and cans, and we're able to save 12 Ziploc bags just from this exercise alone, which will go back into circulation on the boat. Cleaning our rubbish allows us to keep it on board for longer and to take it off the boat in places that do actually recycle the material. Thank you very much for watching. And if there's any improvements you think I can make, please let me know.